Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here, and I'm here to do a character discussion video for one of the most bad space ass characters of the Aji Demi Human manga named Sato. But I'm mostly just going to be talking about why he is the way he is and his character mostly overall. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so first off, Sato's actual name is Samuel T. Owens, that's his name. He is British and Chinese, not a Japanese man, just so you all know. Actually, the real reason why Sato moved to Japan in the first place is because all of his favorite games he likes to play, like Pac-Man and stuff, are from Japan, so he goes there to be more close to that, more close to that culture. But yeah, that's the main reason in the manga why Sato moved, because he's a huge gamer, in fact. And a psychopath, of course, he's a psycho. We all know that, to go along with it. Sato's whole view of the world is a game and doesn't put much value on other people's lives. Even with his own life, not not that it really matters to be honest though since Sato is an Ajin in the first place. The psychopathic nature of Sato stems back to when Sato was just a kid, when he would kill animals inside of the farm or the barn, whatever, just for the sake of it and I guess his father would beat him for, the, for that, but then tells Sato that he forgives him and knows that he's not a bad boy. He tells him that he loves him, basically. So I guess he had a pretty good father, whatever. But I don't think, but I don't think his father did more for Sato after that. Sato even faked his age so he can join the Marine Corps just for the sake of it being fun. While Sato was on a mission with his comrades to a location I forgot about, I don't know the location, I forgot. Sato just seeing the whole world as a game went and fired a bullet into the air and signaled the enemy their location. Uh, Sato only did this since the mission he was on was such a he was such a bore basically he, he was bored for him and he himself only joined for extremely selfish reasons and that is to go crazy and start a huge gunfight with the enemy soldiers which they all only have one life just like in the game Sato plays Sato didn't put much regard for his comrades at the time and some of them got killed or mortally injured by enemy fire all because of him Sato was all to blame and was dishonorably discharged from the marines. Sato was once respected by all his comrades since they all saw how he knew what it truly meant to be a marine, always would complete his missions, always made sure his comrades were safe on every mission they were they were sent to. Sato was a model soldier for the other for the others to see. But once Sato acted completely different than he usually does when he alerted the enemy and got his men killed. Well, some of his men killed, not all of them, just some some got injured, but I think actually a few got killed, but yeah, they immediately kicked him out of the Marines after that. So yeah, he's not a Marine anymore, but he does have the training though. Right now, right now he's a terrorist who has Marine training, so and he's a Najin. Sato also hates it when people get in the way of his fun. Just like when Kei Nagai tried to stop Sato and finally have him captured, so Kei could return to his normal life. Sato didn't have any of that. Sato also has an IBM course, which he is very adept at it, at using it, and can even operate it on its own without Sato being conscious and giving it orders. Yes, yeah, so basically Sato has complete mastery over the immortal, paralyzing scream and IBM aspect of being an Ajin himself, which he incorporated it from all the training he's got during his time in the Marine Corps. Yeah, uh, but Sato himself is shown to be calm most of the time and only snaps when people get in the way of his fun or his game which he will end you for that since he has no tolerance for it yeah sato is an extremely cruel and rational guy as well who has most likely been trained for the majority of his life and when he formulates an objective he goes through it through thick and thin even if it kills him sato might have gathered other audience to do a lot of his dirty work for him but most of the time when the fight gets really exciting, he jumps in with guns blazing and guns down all of his enemies in his gaming world, basically. Like I said, he views the entire world as a game. He just guns down all of his enemies like he's in a game, you know. Uh, like I said, I'm not a gamer, so I don't know much about it, but yeah. Um, Sato's main goal was to take over all of Japan, which he told his men and the rest of the world. But this was just a dirty, a dirty lie, basically. It was just a dirty lie. It was all just like BS, basically. Sato only views the whole world the same exact way he views his gaming system. He views, yeah, so yeah, he views his gaming system the same way as he views the world, 
So I find a very interesting character for that. He's definitely one of my favorites, along with Kaito, like I said in the last video. <clears throat> but yeah, I should end this video here now before I start repeating myself. So yeah, that's it for my video. My next IG Demi Human character discussion topic choice will be Ko Nakano. That's what Ko Nakano, him, he's next. So stay in tune with that. Okay, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching everyone and bye.